I'm crazy. I, I told you before that I was crazy. That I, this interview is going to be wild now. Second time, yeah. I was uh, here one month ago just for promotion, but now there is my first concert here. I'm so excited. It's a really an open city, you know, because you you can see from the people, no, from from everything. Uh, th there is a Berlin mood, you know, no, that in uh, in Milan there isn't, and uh, it likes me a lot. I'm improving uh, day by day, and this thing uh, that. I travel a lot now around uh, Europe. Uh, it helps me a lot because uh, I can see now also, for example, last time that I was in London, I went to the Tyler the Creator concert now. It was a unique now, uh, event there because it uh, was uh, uh, so uh, on fire him you know, and his way to, to stay on stage, you know. So uh, every time there is uh, to learn something now from the other one, uh, no, not every time in music uh, world. I, I speak also uh, for the the art mood. No, for example, yesterday in Paris, I met uh, um, Francesco Vezzoli. No, uh, that is one of the biggest artists now nowadays, and uh, he, his way to, to create, no, uh, to 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 do art, no, in uh, in real time was so exciting for me because. Uh, uh, is a new uh, way of expression, you know. So my dad is Egyptian, my mom is Sardinian, and uh, when I was a child, my parents used to uh, make uh, me listen uh, their favorite music. For example, my dad made me listen uh, uh, his favorite Egyptian uh, Arabic singer, you know, and my my mom made me listen the the, the classic uh, Italian songwriter, for example, Lucio Dalla, Battisti, and uh, De Gregori, and. Uh, in a certain way, I mix both of uh, this music you now because uh, um, when I was 14, I, I used to uh, uh, listen a lot of uh, R&B, hip hop music. For example, my first CD that I brought was uh, the score of the Fugees, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I I love um, a lot the 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 word, um, but now I, I can. Um, I can see now that in my way to create music, to compose lyrics and, and melodies, I put all this stuff now, you know, there is all this influence mixed inside my music. F for, for the reason I uh, invented this term Mor Moroccan pop, because it doesn't exist, this, this kind of music. But my music, I, I define my music like this because um, uh, sometimes I used to do Arabic melodies, but with uh, strong Italian lyrics now. I, I, I used to put everything, everything that for me is really strong. Open our concert was insane because, um, because for me he's an she's an idol, you know. And uh, after the concert, I met her and she asked me if uh, I like. Uh, Do you like my concert? <laughs> and I was like, was the best of my life. Yeah, minchione praticamente. Um, no, it was insane. Yeah. It was really insane because I love so much her, really. Music was my first passion uh, ever because uh, at 12 years old I started taking a uh, piano lesson and uh, also um, singing lesson, you know. And from there uh, I always studied music. I want now to take guitar lesson because I... I I can play guitar. Most time that I compose, I'm uh, on uh, bus, car, airplane. Yeah, during uh, movements. Yeah, I'm inspired by people, by my, my way to see relations, my way to 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 know new places. You know, uh, the life is important for an artist to listen a lot. You know, the the stories of other people because uh, sometimes they, they can give you uh, stuff really um, poetic and also um, personal no? to, to, that you can put uh, into songs, you know. The, the scene uh, of um, the little, the baby me, uh, the dad has a little cobra on the hand, no? And uh, I uh, bring this cobra inside, no? and it's growing, it's growing the pain. No? Also in the song, it's a sort of climax, you know. And uh, at the end of the video, the, the snakes come, become giant on my back. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the, the biggest climax of the, the struggle. Mm -hmm. yeah.
or inside, you know. I used to listen a lot of American ar artists for sure, yeah. And uh, lately also Spanish artists, you know, I'm really uh, I like the, the, the Spanish music. And, uh, um, but uh, the, the artist that I love is, for example, um, César. Yeah, I, I love too too much César, and I I'm, I discovered uh, this new artist English, uh, Amalu, and uh, he did all, only uh, three songs and one new song uh, that she dropped uh, last month. North Side is incredible for me. She's really cute, yeah. cool. In the studio, total white mm -hmm. with the Jewish, you know. <laughs> Cause not on her side, it's like no for me. No, she's really super cool. No. <laughs> for me, it's, it's uh, incredible because I didn't expect all this success no, after Eurovision for Soli because uh, um, uh, every time that uh, an Italian artist uh, was at Eurovision, uh, bring some Italian song, but with English parts inside. No, but I decided to not put English part because there was already an Arabic part, so it would be a little bit strange, you know, Arabic, English and Italian, um, I'm mixed, too much mixed. So I chose to uh, keep sold, you know, in the original form. And then maybe this, this, uh, this strength, you know, of the, the original message, you know, uh, come outside the country, you know, the Italy thing. Because uh, I think that people, when um, People uh, is in front uh, at something so real, so deep. Uh, people understand it and accept it. So uh, I'm really happy that people understood my message. And uh, and uh, in fact, I'm so grateful for all of Europe, all my fans in Europe, because it's incredible. Also, this thing that I'm doing a lot of sold out, you know, all around Europe for me is insane because I didn't expect uh, all. For for me, it was already impossible to do an European tour. But an European tour with sold out <laughs> is such incredible too, you know. My generation, my generation, no, is more open, um, open-minded, no, uh, and uh, and we can uh, give a change, no, in uh, in Italy because uh, uh, it's important to not create difference, not create bar barrier, you know. Mm. And we understood this concept, for example, in 2012 when I was working no, in a bar. I used to uh, write a lot of songs no, while I was working no, on the paper when I take the coffee and the, and the, and the drinks. And in that period, I, I learned a lot no, because I worked, used to work in the morning and in the afternoon I went to a music school no, to study and to practice. So. That was my, for me, most important period, no, in my uh, way to to improve and to 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 create my my way to compose, you know. My message uh, is to uh, not uh, give up when something uh, become harder, because it's when it get harder that you can. Um, can, can, can give your best, you know, and that's happened to me when in, in my music. I found my identity, but I, I try to uh, perfect perfectionist, you know, uh, because uh, I can do better and I can be better. <laughs> you know, I want always to improve now every time. I don't want to be a political symbol, but I prefer to stay an artist, you know, because I do music and that's it. My identity would be, could be um, a mix between a pharaoh uh -huh. and a Charmander, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and Charmanders are your favorite Pokemon? The other part of myself. This. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs>